Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bronco Garage. Monster Mike here, and today I've got something fresh, something new, something exciting from James Duff. That's right, the new Dual Sport Heim Steer system. Now they took the better than stock Heim Steer, and of course that was a great product for many years, but they have gone back to the drawing board and made it even better. I've also got to show you some of really cool accessories that tie into that product here next at the Bronco Garage. All right, so first things first, what does dual sport even mean? Dual sport means that you can go anywhere, do anything with this Heimsteer system. Let's talk about the what. What is this? Well, first and foremost, this is a Heimsteer system for a 66 to 77 Bronco. And it, it comprises of a tie rod and a drag link. The tie rod attaches your two steering knuckles to each other. Your drag link then attaches to the tie rod up to your gearbox, and that is what allows you to steer. This system is based off of the 66 to 75 steering linkage that came from the factory. That's what we call a T-style steering system. Now, the 76 and 77 Broncos, they came with what was called a Y-link or Y-style steering. If you have a 76 or 7 and you would like to buy this system for your Bronco, but you don't know if it has got, you know, something on it that's not factory and you need to measure it, perfectly fine. Just remember that you're going to be measuring for a T-style system instead of a Y-link system that's currently on there. Now, if you have an older or outdated or just a original steering system on your Bronco, you're probably noticing things like bump steer and death wobble, two things that you don't want to deal with at all in your early Bronco. Why would you consider this steering system over any other one out there? Well, most of you are probably wanting something that's more like an OEM or factory style steering. Well, I can guarantee you that this is as factory style as it comes, but as robust as it comes at the same time. It's very heavy duty. And instead of using tie rod ends that wear out fairly quickly, it uses a three quarter heavy duty rod end or Heim in order for you to have very good steering, but also be able to put your Bronco into a go anywhere, do anything application. Let's dive a little deeper into some of the details and specs of this system. Starting from the top, what makes this Duff's Dual Sport Heim system so good? It starts with these three quarter Heim ends and they are very heavy duty and can handle quite a beating. You'll see that they're on every end of this Heim steer system. From there, you've got a saddle. Now, what the saddle does is it connects your drag link to the tie rod just like it would from the factory. So that means that you have the factory style steering geometry. Steering geometry is critical to have correct so you don't have bump steer. Bump steer allows you to lose control of your vehicle. So having the saddle there versus having the drag link attach all the way to the other side like other systems is definitely gonna give you a better ride. One of the really awesome features about this new system is this alignment bar that's built into the end of the drag link and the end of the tie rod on the driver's side. Once you have the system fully connected, you can then align your pitman arm and your steering wheel as well as the toe in with just by simply moving the alignment bar with a wrench. That means you don't have to remove anything anymore when you're putting the system in and getting it aligned. The system comes with different mounting options. If you have knuckles that aren't drilled out, or if you want to go tie rod under the knuckle or tie rod over the knuckle, you can select which mounting system works best for you. If you don't like to drill out your knuckles, there's a solution for that as well. I'm going to show you all those accessories and how they tie in. Another great feature of this Heimster system is at the attachment point of the pitman arm, you have this tapered Heim stud that's actually pressed into the Heim joint. Now, you'll also notice that there is a bushing on there, and this is so you can use this from 66 all the way up to 77 without having to change out your pitman arm. Now, why that's so great is pitman arms are actually really difficult to drill to a three quarter bolt. Overall, one of the really great features of this new dual sport Heimsteer system is that it is considered universal between the years of 66 to 77 early Broncos. Now, what that means is, is all the different oddities that came in those years, it covers them. 
So as long as you have factory style gearbox, a factory style frame, and a factory style front axle, you're gonna have this system bolt right in. Now, if you don't know if you have those things, here's a few ways for you to identify them. Now, this here is a factory gearbox that is 100% going to work with uh, this system. Now, you can also run a PSC gearbox or a Borgeson style gearbox as long as they mount in the factory position and look very similar to this factory box here shown. Just to cover the Bronco steering gearboxes that are out there that won't work or likely be an issue, there's a very popular two-wheel drive F100 gearbox that uh, hangs down really low in comparison to the factory box, but for many years it has been an option for people who had a worn out box and needed to replace it. That system there is likely not going to work or it's going to need you to take some extra measurements just to verify. Same for the 4x4x2 four by four by box, which is another popular steering box that has been able to be retrofitted to an early Bronco. That box starts off as a 7879 Big Bronco box or a F-150 4x4 of that same era. Now that box does mount in a different spot as well. So in those cases where you're just not sure you have the right box, the right frame, or the right front axle, James Duff provides a measuring kit that you can purchase and you can also watch the video on how to measure correctly. That way, there'll be no guessing. Fill out the form, send it back to the James Stuff tech guys. They'll let you know if you've got the right parts before you buy the new dual sport steering system. Now, from there, your factory style frame. Well, obviously, this frame here is absolutely going to work. If it's factory, it's factory, no problem. But there's also some aftermarket frames that follow the factory measurements, and those will work also. Just get with the manufacturer of those aftermarket frames and just verify that they are, in fact, based off of factory measurements. Now, when it comes to front axles, a lot of you are going to be running a factory style Dana 44 low pinion early Bronco front axle. And whether it's a Dana 44 or a Dana 30, it really doesn't matter. As long as the measurements from end to end where your tie rod actually mounts is around 48 inches or 50 inches for a 76, 77, then you're going to be fine. But if you've decided to take a low, a high pinion full width Dana 44 and cut it down so it is the same length as your original axle, that's fine too. You just want to make sure that it is in fact early Bronco width, which again would make your knuckles center to center, end to end at about 48 inches or 50 inches. Anything over 50 inches, well, you're starting to get into no man's land. All right, so let's hit on some of the accessories that you want to consider for your Bronco and the steering system that you're going to put on it. Because I know you've probably got a lot of questions. You're probably still wondering, is this the right system for me? What else do I need? How do I put it on? Well, I'm gonna cover a ton of that when we do the install video, but let me show you a few things that you should consider depending on which way you wanna set your Bronco up. Now, you'll notice right here, this is a riser bracket. And a riser bracket is used for when you wanna put your steering system up and over the knuckle. That means you gotta raise the track bar at the axle at the same time so you keep the correct geometry between the relationship of your drag link and your track bar. So this is actually a very important component of the James Duff bump steer eliminator system. So riser bracket, heim steer, and then from there, you'd wanna get one of their adjustable track bars. But before we go too much further into that, I wanna show you a few other things to consider while you're putting this together. Like for instance, if you already have a suspension system on your early Bronco, it's likely that you have a drop track bar bracket and a drop pitman arm. Well, if you decide to go with the bump steer eliminator system, or you just wanna put your steering system up and over the knuckle, tie rod over, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to switch to a standard style pitman arm. And you're gonna to wanna to remove the drop track bar bracket at the frame and just use the factory location. So. From there, you're probably wondering, okay, that makes sense, I guess, but why would I even wanna do that? Okay, well, the bump steer eliminator system, it actually moves your steering up and over the knuckle, uses this riser bracket, which by the way, is bolted and welded on, so welding is required, and it also uses the James Duff adjustable track bar, and it does all that so you have the least amount 
of bump steer in your ride. That's right, you have the normal amount of bump steer in your ride no matter what you do, but with this system, it darn near eliminates all of it. So in my opinion, if you like to go fast or if you go over the whoops or the speed bumps and you don't want your steering wheel to move, the bump steer eliminator system is the right choice for you. I wanna to touch on the mounting system one more time for this new dual sport Heimster system because it is totally different than how the other system that James Duff offered has come. Now you have a couple different options there. You can choose to drill out your knuckles and that's where you'll get these two three quarter bolts and they come with cotter pins and nuts and washers and all that good stuff. You can even choose to purchase a knuckle drill out kit which comes with a three quarter drill as well as the cutting fluid for it. Now, if you don't wanna drill out, the option that I really like is these conversion studs. Here is the one where you don't have to drill out your knuckles. That's right, you just install these and then you put the himes on them and boom, you're done. It's pretty simple and it comes with safety cotter pins. But one thing also it comes with that's different from anything else out there is these Delrin spacers. Now this is gonna be provided whether you get the system that doesn't require drilling or if you go with the three quarter bolts that do require drilling. They both have spacers, but the spacers are very, very different. So you've got a much thicker spacer for the system that doesn't require drilling, and you've got a thinner spacer for the one that does. What's really cool about all this is that if you've got a system that you wanna add these spacers to, you can buy them separately. There are a couple other accessories that you might want to be considering, and especially if you're running a front sway bar. The Hellwig front sway bar is a very popular choice, and if you end up having one of those already or wanting to put one of those on, you can certainly run this Heimsteer system. But remember, if you want to run front shocks, it's an either or situation. You gotta run a Hellwig sway bar or you gotta run front shocks. You can't run both. There's just no real estate there for both of them to sit in the same space. So let's say you don't run a sway bar and you do run front shocks and you wanna put this Heimsteer system on. Well, if you run it tie rod under the knuckle, no problem. You're not gonna have any clearance issues. However, if you wanna go tie rod over the knuckle and you want that front shock to be there, you're gonna have to run a different style of shock mount on your front C-cap. Now James Duff provides that shock mount kit, so that way you can put that where it needs to go, weld it onto the C-cap, and then you can run the steering system over the knuckle, no problem. Now, if you don't want to run a front shock mount, and you do want to run a Hellwig front sway bar, and you absolutely want to use the bump steer eliminator system, or put your tie rod over the knuckle, then you're gonna to wanna to use the new James Duff Dual Sport Lower Coil Retainer. It's different than the heavy duty retainer that they already offer because it has mounting points welded to it that attach your Hellwig front sway bar to its links and keeps it out of the way of the Dual Sport Heimsteer system. That's right, everything will work in harmony if you have all of those components Together. Moving on from the dual sport lower coil retainer, I want to talk to you about track bars a little bit. Now, you're probably wondering why track bars? You know, what's that got to do with, you know, steering? Well, actually, everything. I mean, if you want to have your front end completely dialed in and you want to have 100% confidence behind the wheel, you're definitely going to want to look at your track bar for a couple different reasons. One, you're also you're going to want your track bar to be robust and you're gonna want it to have no movement or play in it, but you're also gonna want it to be set up properly so you can get your Bronco aligned and have it perfect. Now, for many years, James Duff has offered an adjustable track bar that comes standard with poly ends like this one here. Well, the poly end on the frame is uh, you know, small, and if you put a lot of miles or do a lot of off-roading, it can wear out fairly quickly. So it's good to upgrade this to a heavy duty end like this one here. Now the heavy duty end comes a couple different ways depending on which year your Bronco is, but it also comes with new bushings and sleeves for the axle end. Now the axle end has got bigger bushings and sleeves than the frame end, so it doesn't wear out as quickly and uh, it's actually good to have some rigidity in your track bar. And that's why the James Duff doesn't put himes at both ends, just at the frame. Now this has been a really popular upgrade for quite a while now. And uh, I gotta say, if, uh, if I had an adjustable track bar, this would be certainly the first thing I would go to just to make sure it could cover a lot of road miles and handle some off-roading. 
Well, James Duff has, uh, of course, come out with something even better than that. And this is the new hassle-free heavy-duty track bar. That's right. This baby right here comes standard with the heavy-duty end, but it also comes with an adjustable bar already built into it. So when you go to install this and you want to get your alignment just right, this has perfect alignment options built into it. Now, normally when you uh, install your track bar, you've got to take the bolt off and then you've got to bring it down and you've got to twist it left or right. And you've got to kind of fudge it a little, you know, you don't ever get it quite perfect. Well, the new heavy duty hassle free track bar from James Duff, you don't got to do that anymore. Now, if you've got a loose bolt hole, I've also got a kit where you can drill that out and that way you can just run a 5 8 bolt and you can have a heavier duty bolt. Plus, you're not gonna have a hole that's a little wallered out, which introduces bump steer and death wobble. I know, those are things that happen quite regularly on the front end of a Bronco, so James Duff is doing everything they can to eliminate that for you. Well, that pretty much covers the majority of the accessories and the options that you would wanna consider when buying a new dual sport Heimster system. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Obviously, you know, there's all different levels of knowledge and experience. So some of you are probably coming at this brand new. Some of you have been doing this for years. I'd love to hear from both of you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below and check out the install video because we're going to show you how all these parts go on the Bronco and how it makes your driving experience the best.